Hey, welcome to my tutorials. We're gonna make a a splash a splash screen, sort of a. Uh, it's what it's gonna do is gonna fade in and then fade out, so it gives it that sort of like professional look about your application and that. So after you've made the login, that the user's logged in, and we'll just make this little splash screen zoom in, or fade in, then fade out. So create form. We're gonna we're just gonna name it splash. So that way you can go to your solution and click on your your main uh main solution and import it if you need to or whatever. So we're just gonna go there. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, add a picture box. So what the um so if you have the image straight onto your form, it's gonna flicker around and it's not gonna look look that great. So I'm just gonna throw a picture box in there and. Click on your main form. You want to start it in the center of the screen, and you want to go up to your uh, form border style and go to none. So what you're left with is just a blank slate, so to speak. And click on your picture box, go to your image, and select the image that you want. There's a, what am I going to put there? I'll just put this Tron Legacy picture. There you go. So properties form that looks a little bit ugly, so I'll make the picture a little bit bigger. Let's go. Yeah, something like that. That's, that's that seems good enough anyway. So yeah, let me just double click on it, go in there, get rid of the picture box section, go to form one events, scroll down to form load, and let's start off with the code, shall we? So first off, we're just going to go. For counter equals zero to one hundred, which will be the maximum capacity. Step by ten, so it's going to go by ten from zero to one hundred by ten. Then we say mean dot capacity equals count divided by one hundred. But first, we're going to Let's see, we don't want to do that, so we're going to go did count as integer. Being integer is going to hold the numeric value. So count divided by 100, but count equals nothing, so we have to go count equals counter. There we go. Me dot refresh to refresh the form. Go threading. So after it's done one step, you want it to pause by say 100, 100 milliseconds or so. So threading dot thread dot sleep 100. There we go. And next counter. So it knows to move back to that. So once it's done that, that's made it fade in. We want to pause it for about a second before we make it fade out. So Threading dot thread dot sleep one thousand, which is one second. Now for counters as one hundred to zero step, because we're going backwards now, we have to step by minus ten. I do I write as instead of equals? Anyway, so now count now equals counters. Give count our new value. V dot opacity equals <coughs> count. Sorry, equals count divided by one hundred. Then we want to V dot refresh. And threading the thread. Sleep 100. Excellent. Then at the end you want to close it. So it'd be like me dot close and for one dot show or whatever you know. 
depends on what you have on your startup form. So if you go over here and click on Splash and Properties, you see down here shutdown mode when start form closes or last form closes. Now if you're using a splash screen and you're closing it and not just hiding it, you want to make sure you have when last form closes selected. Alright? Just a little pointer. So let's give that a go, shall we? Pauses for a second, then it's gone. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, after the after you've done it all, you want to go to me dot close. Now, if I go over here and add another form, add new item. Yeah, we'll just go Windows form, form two. That seems good enough. Well, that loads, excellent. And now we go to our splash properties, and when the last form closes, we go into form one. Me dot close before we close you. No. Yes, before we close you, we want to go form two dot show. Now let's try. You can increase it, make it go a little bit faster by decreasing the value of the threading dot sleep the 100 and there we are form 2 so then we close form 2 and it should close the entire lot there we go excellent so I'll copy and paste this or yeah I'll copy and paste this so you can do it or we can put it into a another sub to refer to which would be quite simple yeah well, let's just quickly do that and we'll copy and paste and put it into there and I'll show you how to do that so if we go, so you don't have to copy and paste <coughs> the entire code all the time. Like, say, if you want to use it in a different form, you can refer back to it because we're using a public sub. <coughs> so it'll just be like the form name, we'll say form two dot whatever we call it, say uh, fade form two dot fade sort of thing. So there it'll just be a uh, by vowel. Let's just say speed as in Tiga. Then you want to say by vowel, pause as in Tiga. So then we just copy and paste from here. <coughs> and put it in there. And the speed will be this. And this. The pause will be this. So we go to form one load, we just write fade one hundred then let's just say five hundred. So pause for a little bit less. If you want to speed that up a little bit more, we just go, let's say 50. So this is a little bit quicker, you know. Cheers for watching. I'll um, copy and paste the code into the uh, text file as usual and RAR and upload it for you. Cheers for watching, guys.